everyone and welcome to my channel Limitless Lauren. Today we are going to be reviewing the Infinity Pro Con Air Curling Iron Wand. Um, it's a 3-in-1 and the sizes are a 1-inch straight barrel, 1-1-1⁄2 inch barrel, and then a 1-1-4 to 3 4 inch tapered barrel. And I talked about this iron in my Costco haul video, which I will link below if you want to go check that out. So I haven't taken everything out of this box yet. So this is pretty much a brand new opening of the box. So let's get this baby out. So here is the base of the wand. Here is the one and one half inch. So let's see how we put this on. You line up the little ridges inside the holder, press it in, and then there's a lock and release right here. So you turn it clockwise to lock and counterclockwise to release. And it shows little pictures for the wave type, so the one and one half inch barrel, glam waves it says, so they're bigger, looser waves. The one inch for defined curls, and then the one and one fourth inch to three fourth inch tapered, tapered barrel for beachy waves. And it explains how to change the curling wand. It explains how to curl your hair. Lowest it goes is 293 degrees Fahrenheit. And the highest is 410. Five different heat settings and 30 second heat up time. And it is rose gold tourmaline ceramic technology. Minimizes heat damage for silky smooth high shine results. We will see. And it comes with a little pouch. And you can put the all the barrels in here. Close it up. And it's a cute little bag for travel or just to keep in. And then it also comes with a heating glove, but it Looks like it only does three fingers. Okay, let's see here. Like this. Is this the way it goes on? Because it has two different textures on each side. So let's see. It says heat protectant glove for left hand. So there's like a silky side and then there's like a rougher side. So the rougher side is the one that's going to be facing out and the silky side is facing away. So you're going to use the rougher side to grip the heating tool. It also has a temperature guide for the kind of hair type you have. So for fragile fine hair, it says 293, which is the lowest. Thin hair, 320 degrees. Medium to normal hair, 347 degrees. Wavy curly hair, 374 degrees and coarse thick hair the maximum for 10 degrees so that's kind of cool that it breaks that down for the different hair types for what heat setting to use all right let's get the rest of these barrels out this is the one inch and then the last one is the tapered one and one fourth to three fourth inch and it said that this is a cool tip so you can grab this end when you're curling your hair and it won't burn your fingers. So I'm going to test all the different barrels on my hair. I'll just do different sections with each one so you can see. And let's give this a go. It has this little line right here and it doesn't even look like you can press it as a button, but they are buttons. The power button is when you turn it on, it'll just start blinking the power button and that is the lowest setting, the 293 I think it was. It doesn't actually show that temperature. I'll press up for 320 and that's what I'm gonna do. And then it'll just keep blinking but it's already really hot so it definitely has that 30 second heat up time. I'm going to brush my hair out and section it. So I'm going to take my wet brush brush out my hair so there's no tangles. I have so many baby hairs. After I had Liam, a lot of my hair fell out and it's starting to slowly grow back in. So I have so many baby hairs that they just don't really know what they want to do. So, okay. So my hair is really fine. And 
oily slash dry on the ends. It's kind of like all over the place, but it's pretty healthy, um, but it's just very fine. So it doesn't take a lot to curl my hair, but the curl does fall out fast because this is air dried hair. I did put some oil on my ends to just help them not look as frizzy and dry, but that's about it. We'll just do two sections and then I'm just going to use a crop clip. And then what I like to do is I like to separate the bottom into two halves. So I'm going to take the one and one half first and we'll do this half of my hair with that. I'll take about this much hair. Okay, so I'll point it downwards and I will wrap the hair around and I will hold it for about six or seven seconds. Slowly let it drop. This will probably look better the bigger barrel on the longer hair because it'll just have more wave going on. But since my hair is kind of short, this is kind of what the gist of it is going to look like. This glove is so weird, by the way. <laughs> it's just kind of hard to like feel like feel if I'm grabbing my hair or not. gives definitely like the picture said just glam waves like little little bit of volume oomph but nothing like too spirally or crazy just if you want to give a little bit of texture and wave to your hair i just got this paul mitchell invisible wear undone texture spray when i got my hair done and this is what my hairdresser suggested for just a texture spray i haven't tried this yet so we're just gonna give it a go it says this super light hairspray adds sexy undone texture and volume with a touchable hold creates effortless styles with natural movement and body we'll just do it to this little section yeah it's got some grit for sure definitely don't need that much i think i did a little too much oh well we live and learn, right? So let's put our little glovey back on. Ow, shit. We've got the one edge in. Yep, it is hot. Okay, let's take our first section. All right, and you can tell this one is definitely curlier, bouncier. In the back one, I don't necessarily point it downwards. I kind of just point it horizontally and wrap it around. It's just easier to do that. And plus, I can't see the back of my head, so I don't want to burn myself. Even with the glove on, I've already burned myself. Okay, this glove is starting to get staticky on my hair. So there is the next section. Let's compare it. This one's already falling out. My hair is just not long enough. If you had really long hair, it would just look really beautiful. Um, this one definitely came out a lot better. Just bigger waves, so let's spray some of that texture spray. Work that in. Let's move on to the tapered. I'll take down this top. Kind of where my part splits so i will just drop it to the sides i think i'll start in the back and work my way forward are definitely beachy. I mean, look at that curl. And I'm just going to do the whole, the whole top section with the tapered. We'll spray a little bit more of that. I do is I'll 
run my fingers through it and just kind of shake out the curl. I definitely like the tapered, it's my favorite. It's kind of the reason why I bought the package because I wanted to try the tapered. Let's see if I can do something with these bangs up here. I'm trying to grow them out so they're a little in between the phase where you can't really do anything with them. Okay, now that my hair is done and we kind of spread it apart with our fingers, I'm going to go in with Sexy Hair Weatherproof. It is a humidity resistant spray and living in Louisiana, I definitely need this because once I go outside, my curls that I worked so hard on are just basically gone. So let's see what this says. Apply to finish look to repel humidity, control frizz, and maintain your style. Last but not least, hairspray. I currently use the Redken Control Addict 28. Um, the last time that I got Redken, this was the strongest hairspray that they had. They might have a new one now, but this is what I really like. It says, get addicted to 24 hour control, fast drying aerosol hairspray, offers advanced shape memory, brushability, and humidity resistance, creates a soft matte finish with no visible flaking and no visible residue, which is true. I've been using this for a while and I don't have any flaking or residue or anything like that. And I do think it does give a 24 hour hold. I brush my hair the next day and I'm still like kind of brushing it because the hairspray is still working. It's magic. So we'll just give this a little, it is strong hold, so I don't do too much. So it's not too crunchy, but this controls my little baby hairs and flyaways. Cause I just have so many right now, but that's good. It means I'm growing new hair in so that is a plus. For my second, third day hair, I will use this Batiste. This is a new one that I just started trying. This is new, but new for me. Uh, it's a dry shampoo, coconut and exotic tropical flavor. They have a couple other flavors or scents, I shouldn't say flavors. And this does leave a white residue if you spray it too close for too long. So what I like to do is I'll just spray it quick and it doesn't leave the residue, but just to warn you for your darker hair ladies, they might have one that doesn't leave the white residue, but just a precautionary for that. Um, but it is nice. It does help a lot with my oil because my hair does get oily. That's about it. And I really like this iron. I hope that you guys like it too. Let me know what your favorite curling iron or curling wand is. And I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. But wait. Before you go, I'll miss you so. So please subscribe to my channel and like this video.